This is why I argued we have a unified reading today, which you don't have, which establishes the fact that you did not have a robust oral tradition. Because if you had a robust oral tradition, at the very least today, you would have one unified reading of the Bible. You don't. I finished on time. Thank you again. He's just buried Islam. This man is dangerously close to becoming an atheist or Christian. Oh, God willing. Let me explain. He just said, you, got, you Christians, you don't have one Bible. You have all these different Bibles. I just said there are different codexes in the earliest times that go back to Muhammad. One that has 116 surahs, one that has 111 surahs. He's just buried Islam. Simple, this is so simple. He's saying any differences, they cannot be accepted because it cannot be from God. I've demonstrated to you, there is debate. You look in your own Islamic sources, Surah 33, Ayah 6, Ubay ibn Kab had, and Muhammad is the father of the Ummah, or something to that effect. That's no longer in your Qur'an, it's been removed. There you go, under his own criteria, Islam is false. Thank you very much. You've just done it. That's brilliant. Okay, Thank you. so he obviously has to, he has to, he has to switch in the Qur'an, yes? You buried your I Quran. said repeatedly that if your claims are true about corruption and change and that Muslims, did, these poor Muslims didn't know which Quran was the Quran and you know different people were reading different Qurans and they were memorizing different Qurans. What is the mechanism that you have one unified reading of 1.5 billion people on this planet today? The only mechanism you can have is there had to be a fixed text that was preserved, that was agreed upon and read unanimously amongst Muslims. Otherwise, you would never have one unified reading. The evidence that we see today, the, act, the reaction of that action is evident. And it's the exact opposite to the Bible. They're chalk and cheese, you can't compare them. And as I've mentioned before, there are renowned experts who agree with our claim and they're not even Muslims. So again, he goes back to this whole idea, there's one unified reading. There isn't. He, he says things like millions of Muslims, they all read the Quran the same way. Yeah, because Hafs is read by 95% of Muslims. But the other 5% read something like Wash or al duri which has different words in it. He is burying his own religion by saying that any differences in accepted books, for example, Abdullah ibn Musad 116 surahs, uh, sorry, uh, Abdullah ibn Musad 11, Ubay ibn Kabir 116, that's a difference. Does that mean Islam is false according to his own standards the standard is applying to Christianity buries Islam because Islam says there is only one Quran perfectly preserved the problem is is that there's 10 Qur'ats that are different in meaning that's terrifying he has buried Islam you can give over my time I think this is done okay so he's giving me his time thank you now again and again we've said this point about if one person says something does that falsify something no you have to look at the you have to look at the entirety of, of, of something to establish it. Ibn Masud, he keeps quoting, Ibn Masud did not die believing or claim that this is not the Quran from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He agreed. So these, these are mute, mute points. You're relying upon people not knowing the argument, not knowing the comments, not knowing their position to just try to shotgun, to try to make some sort of an assertion. Now the problem you have in Christianity, you don't even know how many books, not chapters, entire books, 77 or 63, 67 or 73, you don't even know how many books there are. There is a difference of chapters or verses. The oldest manuscript that you have complete, the Codex Sinaiticus that, that exists in the British Library, right? Even that doesn't agree with what the Bible you have today. Entire books have been left out. Entire books because they're regarded as apocrypha. You, you gave me your time, 15 seconds. Entire books have been left, about, left out. So this is a chalk and cheese argument. The reality is the only mechanism is preservation in Islam and we see it today, Alhamdulillah. It's a hilarious. He's just saying, look, there's different books, therefore it can't be, uh, perfectly, can't be preserved. The Uthman standardized your Quran into 114 surahs. He's, he's, his own criteria, the fact that he's saying that if there are any arguments about what is included or what is excluded means it cannot be from God, that refutes Islam according to his own traditions. Al-Tabari talks about this. The earliest uh, Sahaba talk about this. I'm not making this up. His own traditions contradict him. His own traditions tell you there was debate over what was Quran and what was not Quran. And remember, he conceded that our roof has been burnt. So the many different modes of recitation of the Quran from, uh, that was uh, given to Muhammad from Shabriel, we've lost a lot of it. So again, according to that, again, 
that contradicts your narrative, you would have to concede that Islam is false based on that ground. It's simple. Address that. Okay. He keeps regurgitating the same argument, trying it over and over again with the hope that it might stick this time. It's the same argument and it's not going to work because the effects of what you're claiming is corruption, is manipulation, is fabrication, is change, and you will never end up with one unified reading that we have today. And we've got 1.5, 1.6 billion Muslims, youngest, the children, three, five, go on YouTube it. Go and watch an Imam who's 10 years old reciting the Quran from memory. A, a, a small child correcting an Imam. You would not have this phenomena if there was not preservation. And you don't have it in Christianity. And this is why till today you debate what are the words of the Bible. Till today, what chapters are, are, are to be included? What verses are to be included? You have that debate till today. I notice this point has now shifted to, look, so many Muslims all recite the Quran the same way. Therefore, it must have been preserved perfectly. That makes no sense. I've already explained to you, 5% of Muslims don't recite it the same way you guys would. So think about that. He's already been refuted on this point. He keeps going back to this, oh, you know, so many people recite it in this way, therefore it's true. That's an argument from advocacy and logical fallacy. Let me give you an illustration. If I said to you the Bible has been perfectly preserved because there's, some, there's a thing called the National Bible Bee in America where children as young as six or seven recite verses from the Bible off of memory, that proves the Bible has been perfectly preserved. You wouldn't accept that. And yet that's his argument because he doesn't have anything else. We've already established there are different surahs that were debated about whether or not they should have been included in the Quran. Uthman decided it for you. He decided it and he standardized it into the way you have it now. And even then there were arguments of the different Quran Act and that came later. So even then they couldn't agree. The argument that he's made over and over again is that somehow I'm claiming that because there are people who've memorized the Quran, therefore it means that therefore the Quran is preserved. Oh yes, that's one argument. However, but at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we have hundreds of Sahaba companions who've memorized the Quran, who agree that this is the Quran as it was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as they heard it. And since then, from then, we have the chains of narrators. Now you talked about Hafs al-Asim and 95% of the world. I'm trying to explain to you that if you see a particular effect, you have to an analyze what could have caused that effect. And one unified reading throughout the globe tells you that this oral tradition must have in fact been robust as is claimed by the experts. Okay, so no, that's not true. The experts don't claim that. The experts say it's well known there are different variants. Arthur Jeffrey, back in the 50s, knew that there was a variant in Al-Fatiha between either king uh, and owner, depending on which Quran you read. And that's well understood. So he's wrong on that. Wait, wait, wait. So don't waste, don't waste my time. Listen, I'm saying that he's already been debunked on that. Second of all, again, he keeps going back to the fact that, look, it's a unified reading because everyone, oh, everyone has picked halves and everyone recites halves apart from 5% of Muslims. So? If every Christian picks the 66 books in the Protestant Bible, would that mean that it's perfectly preserved? Does that make sense? It doesn't. So why are you accepting it when it talks about the Quran? When we talk about the Bible, we don't make the same claim that it exists on an eternal tablet. We don't make that claim, but he has to because he's a Muslim. That's what Islam teaches. We've already demonstrated the Muslims, the Sahaba argued. Abdullah ibn Masud did not agree. Ubay ibn Kab did not agree. Zayd bin Tabit had a different opinion to these guys. Okay, I'm not going to go through all the Muslim arguments he's made because he's made them 10 times yes, and yes. I've already answered them. He's saying if millions of Christians today memorize the 66 books of the Protestant Bible, would we say that that was a preserved text? You'd have a very strong argument. You'd have a very, very strong argument because what you would be able to establish is that there must have been some sort of fairly robust oral tradition to be able to see that effect. But you don't have that effect. And that's why you can't even make the claim. But the Muslim has that effect. We have tens of millions of Muslims who've memorized the Quran, who can track their lineage of scholarship right the way back up to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So we can at least make that claim that we have 
a mechanism of oral tradition that is very much established and recognized and in existence today. But you can't make that claim.